Hi, I'm Robert Haynes from the Sugar Flower Studio in, uh, based in London and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to be making the blackberry with these silicone moulds. I'm going to be showing you how to make one of the sets of the three blackberries here. Um, it comes in a set of two, two large and then three medium and then this one on here which is for the baby berries. As you can see in front of you on here I've got um, a selection of each that I've previously made and they've been coloured and glazed and put into the arrangement. Um, so it's just going to be a very short video of today just showing you how to make the actual blackberry. So I'm going to start off by making a bend into the wire. So taking a 20 gauge wire, this is going to support the size of this fruit on here. So just taking the wire and then just bending lots and lots of hooks into the end of the actual wire just by turning the wire over and creating a nice big mesh of wire. You don't want this to be very, very pretty. You don't want it to be very tight. You want it to be nice and loose so that all of the paste, the flower paste actually sticks into um, each side of the actual blackberry. So once I've made my wire, then I'm going to then place some Crisco with a paintbrush down inside all of the cavity of both sides of the blackberry mold. I've previously done this one at the back. Then I'm going to be taking, oh sorry, I'm just going to be putting a little bit into this one as well, which this one is the baby berries. I may as well make one of those as well at the same time. So taking some of my flower paste, I'm just going to knead the paste up a little bit so it goes down into all of the, uh, the parts of the fruit. And then using a little bit of cornstarch on my fingers, just pressing it right down inside the cavity. And then taking another piece of paste, placing that down inside the other cavity. You can also do this as well with modeling chocolates or marzipan. It doesn't just have to be with flour paste, gum paste. Taking a small piece for the baby berry and then just popping that down inside the, that cavity as well. May need a little bit of help with a small ball tool. So cornstarch, corn flour onto the end of a ball tool and just packing that right down inside. Then taking the other parts of the mould, placing that down on top and then just using my finger around the sides and then just squeezing it together and that will give me two parts of the berry. If there is a little bit of paste coming out of the side, then simply just take that away and then remold the top part again. Just place that on. There we go. Okay, so that gives you the full part of the fruit, top and bottom. For the, for the full blackberry, what I'm going to be doing is taking a paintbrush with some water on here. Don't use edible glue, just use water because then that will then stick the two parts together. Um, if it was glue, then that would ooze out of the sides and when you go to dust with the edible dust colour, it won't actually stick to that part because it will be shiny. So taking your wire, you can then place this down onto here and then push down and then place the other parts then on top. Or if you want it really, really stuck on there, never to come out, then what you can do is actually light a candle or you can just use a lighter and then just making sure that this goes really, really, really hot. All of the paper will just naturally burn off. Just getting it nice and hot, not too hot. And then placing one side down onto the other. There will be a little bit of smoke just onto there. Then just placing the other side directly on top making sure that you've got the two parts of the hole, which is this part on here, the, the little part that goes down inside the fruit, that one needs to go directly down onto the opposite side. Lifting the whole of the blackberry up onto a flat surface, just by pushing around the sides and then pushing from the top. Pushing from the sides and pushing down from the top. This will then cement the two sides together, making sure that you don't and you have to have the two sides level here, otherwise it won't be level inside. 
then simply just take your finger pushing into this part of the mould and then pushing right in and then lifting up like that. Then that will give you the full blackberry down onto the inside. Then taking the other part where the hole goes down inside and then lifting that part up as well and then just removing the blackberry from the whole mould. If you have got a little bit of residue of the, um, of the flour paste on here, then just simply take a wet wipe and just wipe it away or you can just wash, wash these in hot soapy water. Taking the, a 26 gauge wire that's going to correspond with the size of the fruit in here, I'm going to be just pushing the wire down inside each cavity because they are all smaller. So from smaller to larger, I'm going to be taking a 26 gauge wire and then just putting a little hook just onto the end, making a double hook actually, because that will be a lot safer and more secure. Then taking a lighter, just heating the wire up until it glows. So it's started to glow now. Then place that down inside and then just give it a little turn so that will secure into the, into the paste. And then just going around, just securing that onto there and then removing by just pushing underneath and then removing the whole of the fruit from the mold. And that will give you a tiny little baby blackberry. Here's one I made before that's already dry. So I'll place those then down into my oasis and if you would like to see me um, teaching this flower, I do teach this flower and the blackberries um, all over the world. If you'd like to contact me on the details that are at the beginning of the video, then please do. Also as well, um, I just want to mention that these moulds are a two-part mould and in the whole range from Simply Nature um, you can, and from the Sugarfly Studio, you can actually um, use this method for lots of other types of 3D two-part moulds. Okay, thank you.